Hi, I am Manaswini. I am 14 years old, studying in 9th grade, Narayana E. Techno School, and I represent Team Drone of Future. I feel so happy to participate in my first ever Code Over 2021 competition. Coding is something I really love doing. In this lockdown, the best thing which I found in myself is coding. Coding empowers not only consume digital media and technology, but to create it. Day by day, coding became more interesting. When I got wonderful opportunity to participate in Code Over, I was really super excited. I really love animated series. What I love even more is animating it by myself. Yes, I also learned PictoBlocks through this competition. PictoBlock is a graphical programming software based on the latest version of Scratch that makes coding fun and easy with a user-friendly interface and drag and drop functionality. It is the ideal companion for setting the first step into the world of programming. PictoBlocks provides advanced things like face recognition, tracing human body parts and classifying objects and also connecting with various birds, Eva and Arduino. My theme is strengthen the health infrastructure. Why I chose this project is I'm more interested in advanced technology. I like to explore things. This project is my dream project and it's been a special one. My project is about drones. An unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, commonly known as a drone, is an aircraft without any human pilot crew or passengers on board. The use of drones in response to COVID-19 and share some considerations on whether and how drones could be an assistant in the given pandemic situation. The reports from the media and other available resources have identified three key use cases of drones in response to COVID-19. This include medical drone, broadcasting, disinfectant spraying drone. Let me broadcast the demonstrate the project. I have used most of the blocks of picture blocks. I have used motion blocks for the moment of customized sound effects and added more beauty to my project. Create clone of myself. Block used to create multiple corona spreads, which help it to give real feel of the project. Picture blocks help with me to bring all my imaginations to reality. Now it's time to run the project. This program is presented by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is working to help keep you and your community safe from COVID-19. Take the following everyday steps to protect yourself and others. Get a COVID-19 vaccine as soon as you can. If you are not fully vaccinated, wear a mask in indoor public places. Children under the age of two should not wear a mask. If you are fully vaccinated, wear a mask in indoor public places if you are in an area of substantial or high transmission or if you have a weakened immune system. Stay six feet from others who are not part of your household. Avoid crowds and poorly ventilated spaces. Wash your hands often. Cover coughs and sneezes. Clean high-touch surfaces daily. For more tips, visit cdc.gov. For the most accurate health information, visit cdc.gov. It's an emergency call. Yes. How can I help you? We need an emergency medical help. Yes. Medical drone will deliver the kid in few minutes. Drones make it possible to deliver blood, other medical supplies to rural areas or any places and have the ability to reach victims who require immediate medical attention within minutes. Hi, I am Myra. Yes. How can I help you? I need an emergency medication for snake bite. Yes, medical drone will deliver the kit in few minutes. Aerial drones, or WAVs, 
are capable of rapid deployment over terrain that's challenging for conventional transport. And we've seen how they're being used in diverse emergency situations such as to deliver emergency snake bite anti-venom to remote communities during this pandemic COVID-19 situation. Zone 1 Newberry City is not under control. People need attention. If you are sick with COVID-19 or think you might have it, stay home except to get medical care. Monitor your symptoms. If your symptoms get worse, contact your doctor. Zone 2 Thames City is under control. City is completely locked down. Zone 3 Berkshire City is under control. City is completely locked down. Zone 4 Victoria City is not under control. Schools are open. Third wave is severe. Kids need attention. Zone 5 South L City is not under control. People need attention. Wearing a mask helps prevent the spread of COVID-19. If you are not fully vaccinated, you should wear a mask in indoor public places, such as malls, grocery stores, and restaurants. If you are fully vaccinated, you should wear a mask in indoor public Using drones with speakers to remind residents about the importance of hand washing, physical distancing, and the use of masks. Kind attention people stay inside home. Disinfectant spraying work in progress. All over the world, authorities are facing challenges such as lack of situational awareness among on-ground personnel and city. To overcome these challenges, drones have been deployed for boosting security and surveillance efforts, monitoring current and potential crowd hotspots, delivery of essential supplies and spraying of disinfectants. The live feed from these drones provides the necessary intelligence to strategy teams and ground forces to preempt corrective measures and tackle situations on the go. Next news bulletin at 9 p.m. Since I am leaving newsroom, I am wearing mask. Stay home, stay safe.